Beijing, once notoriously known for its thick smog, faced a severe air pollution crisis in the early 2000s. The city's skyline, often hidden behind a dense curtain of smog, became a symbol of environmental neglect and the consequences of unchecked industrial growth. The city's rapid industrialization and burgeoning population came at a cost. Skyscrapers rose and the economy boomed, but the air quality plummeted. Factories belched out plumes of noxious fumes, and cars choked the streets, releasing a torrent of harmful pollutants into the air. The relentless pace of urbanization left little room for green spaces, exacerbating the problem. Visibility was often reduced to a few hundred meters, and the air itself carried a gritty, metallic tang. Residents had to adapt to a new normal, where wearing masks became a daily routine. The health implications were dire, with respiratory illnesses skyrocketing and life expectancy tragically shortened. Hospitals were overwhelmed with patients suffering from asthma, bronchitis, and other pollution-related ailments. The situation demanded urgent action. Government officials, environmental activists, and concerned citizens began to push for stricter regulations and innovative solutions to combat the pollution crisis. Public health campaigns were launched to raise awareness and encourage protective measures. Determined to combat this environmental crisis, the Chinese government took decisive action. They embarked on an ambitious plan to revolutionize Beijing's energy landscape, aiming to create a cleaner, healthier environment for its citizens. At the heart of this transformation was a decisive shift away from coal, which had long been a major contributor to the city's air pollution woes. Coal-fired power plants, once a ubiquitous site across the city, were gradually phased out. These plants with their towering smokestacks had been a significant source of harmful emissions. In their place, cleaner alternatives were introduced. Natural gas, a much cleaner burning fossil fuel, emerged as a key player in this energy transition. This shift not only reduced the levels of harmful pollutants in the air, but also marked a significant step towards a more sustainable future for Beijing. Recognizing that transportation was another major source of pollution, Beijing implemented a multi-pronged strategy to green its urban mobility. The city invested heavily in expanding and modernizing its public transportation system, with a particular focus on electric buses. Thousands of sleek battery-powered buses were deployed across the city, replacing their diesel-guzzling counterparts. To further encourage sustainable transportation, Beijing embraced bike-sharing with remarkable enthusiasm. Beyond these measures, Beijing embarked on a massive afforestation campaign to improve air quality. This initiative was not just about planting trees, but about creating a sustainable environment for future generations. The government recognized the urgent need to combat pollution and climate change, and trees were a natural solution. Recognizing the vital role trees play in absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen, the city launched ambitious projects to plant millions of trees. These efforts were supported by local communities, schools, and businesses, all coming together to make Beijing greener and healthier. The collective effort was a testament to the power of community action. Vast tracts of land on the city's outskirts were transformed into lush forests, acting as green lungs for the sprawling metropolis. These green belts not only improved air quality but also helped in reducing urban heat islands, making the city more resilient to climate change. The transformation was remarkable and visible from space. These urban forests not only helped to purify the air but also provided much-needed green spaces for residents to enjoy. They became popular spots for recreation, exercise and relaxation, enhancing the quality of life for Beijing's citizens. The success of this initiative has inspired other cities to follow suit, recognizing the immense benefits of urban forests.